Uncle Deke here. We're going to continue on with our soldering. And now what we're going to do, we just soldered two big red wires together by intermingling the wires together and soldering them to make a really good strong solder joint right here. Okay, what we're going to do now is let's say we need to run um, We'd, we'd have a black and a red one soldered together like this. Okay, let's say we want to run a UBEC hot wire off of there. And we run or wanna, want to run a FPV camera lead, 12 volt lead, off of here also. Okay, so how we're going to solder these two small ones to the two big ones. Now you probably have your own way of doing it, but here's some I do, right or wrong. It, uh, it seems to work for me. And I'm going to hold those up there. And hopefully it shows on the video I lost one. Be one of the times when it would be really handy to have a uh, third hand. Of course, I could get in your way too sometimes. Okay, I'm going to tape those on there. And I'm going to go ahead and crimp that in there like that. And crimp that in there like that. And those are already laid down on there pretty good. And what the tape does, it just holds them down. Now, if you just put them in, in the alligator clips here, they uh, sometimes will move. The tape seems to work for me. Okay. Ooh, forgot this. How about a little Dunkin' Donuts here? Yeah, oh, that's so good. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Or you can see it, and I'm not going to burn myself. I'm going to lay this up. I've already tinned the two small wires. And because that other one is soldered together so well, it won't take long for those just to lay down there just like that. You don't need to get the whole thing hot because the solder on top of the wire, the big wires, will stick to the solder that's on the little wires because I pre tinned them. Okay, so let's look at that. I don't leave the tape on there. Take the tape off, like that. Okay. Got a good connection there. Got a good connection. Real good connection. Now, because I want to protect those, of course, and insulate them, I'm going to put my heat shrink on here and feed that down over the wire. You might want to have it on there already, but you don't want to get it too close. Okay. This is just big enough. That's already cooled down, see? There we go. Push that down there like that. Now what I want to do with my heat shrink is make the wires come out the same direction I soldered them on. So you're going to have to kind of figure that out to start with. You don't want to double them over and then put your heat shrink over the top of it. That kind of wouldn't make any sense. And this makes it a lot stronger. Okay. Now I can get out my blow gun. But if that's all I got to do, I can just use my soldering gun. Now it's not as clean because it 
get some of the stuff off the soldering gun. It's the same idea. Just don't try not to touch your insulation on the wire. Of course, that's silicone insulation. Okay. Now I've got it all heat shrinked. Now that is a super strong deal. I can pull on those and I know they're stuck on there well. Okay, and I can run one to my camera and one to my UBEC. And now I've got two wires on to one, two little wires on the two big wires. Now repeat the same step on the black wire, on the negative wire, and I got it all hooked up. And that way you don't have any, any extra connections to come loose. You can tailor how long you want this this way. Don't be afraid to solder. Try it. First, get a good, a really good soldering gun. You know, it's one of those pay me now or pay me later things. Okay, get some good tin and lead solder. Get some alligator clip thingies to hold it right here. And heat shrink. I go to car shows and find heat shrink really cheap and it comes in big bulk lengths and sizes. Best way there is go to your local big car show. If they have a good guys car show where near where you live, go to it. They got a vendor area and they got lots of supplies of heat shrink. So there you go. Too big, too little, and one more taste of Dunkin' Donuts. Mmm, Uncle Decat.